Hello everybody, just uh, filming this after the fact because I've realised it's the 2nd of July so as always, hello everybody and uh, welcome to another uh, bookish um, book haul uh, these are all the books that I got in July sorry I don't make any sense, my, f my finger, my finger do you want to see my finger? Like, don't look away if you don't want to see something gross. This is my finger. Look what's happened to my fucking finger. Oh, it's not even. It's not even in focus. It's probably for the best. My finger is fucked. It is. It is fucked. Dane reads. Hello everyone. It is your boy Dane here. I do not feel so good. Um, I'm still dealing with my weird ass finger. Let me just move you slightly so we've not got the sunlight in the way. Uh, so I'm wearing my hoodie and trying to be productive I guess. Um, I received this in the post which is Full Bleed the Materials Issue um, which is issue number six of 2023 or possibly of all time I'm not entirely sure uh, and the reason I was sent this although from America is because my poem Vantablack is in it just there which is very cool. Um, I haven't read this yet but I am looking forward to it. Unfortunately I got fucking cough medicine on the cover which is a shame. This is easily the most beautiful like literary collection or um, magazine etc that I've ever ever picked up so um, it's just a beautiful artifact you know which is appropriate considering it's the materials issue hello everybody your boy Dane here I have one book for you today this is Mississippi Review volume 51 number one and two uh, this was sent to me uh, it'd be another one of those ones where I submit some work I guess I didn't get published in it but they've sent me a copy of the latest issue which is very cool so poetry non-fiction and fiction in here for me to to stick my teeth into. That's a very weird way of putting it. I uh, don't recognise any of the names, but then I very rarely do in these anyway. So um, yeah, bring it on. Alrighty guys, just the one book to haul for you today, and that is The Wishing Horse of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. Book number 29 in the Wizard of Oz series. I'm still cracking on, I'm still working through them. What more do you want? Hello everybody, a quick hauly haul. Um, I got this in the post today, which is Youthful Writings by Albert Camus with an introductory essay by Paul Vianney. I don't know how to pronounce that surname. That's got a lot of uh, v uh, vowels in it. But anyway, uh, this will be the final uh, Albert Camus book that I have to read. I actually have like four or five on my shelves up there. Um, but I now have all of, the, all of Camus' published works. I've read maybe half of it, but it's very exciting. It's exciting to, to have received that, so yes. All right, guys, just the one book to uh, haul today. I picked up Captain Salt in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson and L. Frank Baum. So this is the latest in the Oz series. As you know, I've been reading through these. And um, yeah, here it is. It's a pretty shitty edition, I'm not going to lie. An Alpha edition, it's not the really nice, pretty ones I've been having before. It does still have the illustrations, but, you know, the layout's not the best. Fucking public domain publishers, man. Alrighty, well, those are all of the books that I received in the month of July. 2023 2023 as always thanks a lot for um watching and all of that god i look terrible today and i'm filming on my phone you can probably tell for reasons that will soon become apparent as always thanks a lot for uh watching don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button for more and i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye bye